Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing the weekly premium challenge. Find the cave lucky number. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. 2802. Um, it's kind of good. I, hmm. I thought someone like linked me this at some point. That's why I, maybe I'm making up something else because I guess cave lucky numbers can be anything. But it turns out that I have not solved this before. Uh, but I have seen some. Or at least the name, I don't know, maybe there's just a lot of ways to have lucky numbers. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this weekly premium challenge. Um, so yeah, okay, let's see. We know that 4 and 7 are lucky digits. Also, a number is called lucky if it contains only lucky digits. You give an integer k, we turn the k lucky dig, uh, number represented as a string. Okay, and it could be very big, so you have to do it basically through some uh, maths. Probably one digit at a time kind of thing. Um, okay. So the, the first thing to notice is that we only have two digits, so it's kind of like a binary number. Um, so you can think of it almost like a binary number. The only thing that is different about this, I think, is that there's a leading zero, right? So you could kind of even play around with this by enumerating the first couple of lucky numbers and see this out, right? Because you have four and seven, um, which you can kind of think about is there's like pre... Um, there's a, a, like I said, prefix of uh, leading zero, right? Because after this, it is just like binary, right? You can kind of think about it that way. Um, yeah, and so there, there are two digits, two one digits, four two digits, and probably three eight digits, or eight three digits, right? Uh, so yeah, so then now, um, so you could probably f calculate the number of digits that way. Um, yeah, and then after that, it just becomes finding the i or k for whatever number. So we so we, let's do that, right? So then now we, maybe uh, you could probably sim, uh, make this more direct, but I'm a little bit lazy, so let's go. Uh, so digits is equal to one, right? So then maybe uh, yeah, well, hmm, well, k is greater than. Wait, is this, is K, uh, they don't tell you if it's, uh, this doesn't mean anything in terms of, like, indexing. I'm just trying to see whether it's zero index or one index. Um, I guess four being 47 means that this is a one index. So that's, uh, I don't know, just get, I, I like it zero index. That's just the way I like it. Uh, so then while K is, um, I'm trying to think whether it's greater than or equal to or whatever, but uh, let's say I think it's greater than or equal to. Now that it is, um, you know, whatever, but and this is two to the power of digits. Then we just subtract do, 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 right, and then we increment digits. Um, and just to kind of actually, I was going to say if to kind of keep in check, we can print number of digits, right? And maybe we should just do it anyway. Uh, I, I was going to say I could probably, you know, you can at least, because this now you could check to see whether this matches the example. I mean, I know that we get the expected answer anyway, but this is only for the example. Then you can see that, you know, this is two digit, this is three digit, this is nine digit, so this is accurate, right? I think the, the only other thing that I want to check is like the border conditions, right? So maybe I would check like uh, one, two, three, uh, yeah, and that should probably be good enough, maybe, right? All right, do I have a way? Oh, yeah, one digit, one digit two digit the two digit for one two three four which is expected uh, i think six six and seven to see if it trends uh you know at the board boundary conditions just to make sure it's right and it's two to three which is what we expect uh, as the number of digits and then now that we have the number of digits is actually sh sh uh should be pretty straightforward because then it is just a binary number right so then maybe uh, this is probably like me just trying to be clever you probably could do it like a um, less silly way. So this is the string for binary string, right? So then now we can maybe replace uh, zero with four, and then we can replace one with seven. And I think that should be good. Uh, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. Right, oh no. Hmm. Oh, 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 because I don't have leading zeros, that's why. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, the math should be right, but it doesn't, because the way that we do it, we get rid of the leading zeros. So then now we have to do, hmm. I, I'm pretty sure there's a pad thing, but I always forget. Python pad string with zeros. Z filled, okay. 
I feel like there's like a little bit better than thing, but okay, fine. Uh, so maybe we could do uh, Z. I feel like there is something like an F string thing that's a little bit easier, but I don't know. Oh. Hmm. String object cannot be interpreted as an integer. Is that now how I'm using it? Oh, 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 wait. Oh, 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 this is, uh, oh, digits, whoops. All right, so it looks good, a little bit uh, <laughs> funky here because I'm lazy, but that's the same idea as we were said, saying, right? This is just represented as zero, 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 one, and so forth, and then let's give it a nice submit. No silly mistakes for once, which is kind of weird for me these days. Uh, yeah. And that's pretty pretty Gucci. What is the complexity here, right? Um, right to be uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to take the number of O of digits, obviously, um, at most, so that's fine, right? Uh, you could say maybe the power of digits is going to take, so this is maybe digit square, if you want to call it that. Um, eh, I don't know. But this is O of the digits, so yeah. Uh, you can also... Uh, pre-calculate this if you like, but I don't know, is that really that much of a deal? Is there a pattern here? I don't know. It was it 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 dot dot dot, right? So this is just, I guess there is a pattern, right? Because this is just um, uh, 2 times 1, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 dot dot dot. This of course is just um, times two to the digits or whatever minus one right so um, i don't know so you can probably uh you could probably calculate this if, directly if you like but eh, i don't know it's fine uh that's all i have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching remember that uh k is only 10 to the 9 so the number of digits is actually not that much right but this is, this is going to be on the order of um i mean it's going to be strictly less than two to the x or whatever Right, because we just like, get rid of it. So uh, it's the formula that we said. So this is gonna be like dirty operations, or was it? Yeah, dirty or dirty one operations or whatever. And so pretty, pretty, pretty fast. Though uh, okay, maybe maybe the way that I've been doing is a little bit slower because we probably could just use like you could literally just do it with um, with for loops again, right? But I'm lazy, so yeah. Uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, go Rangers. Hopefully next time. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.